Okay, guys, so now we're talking about composite functions, functions of functions. So when you see this weird looking new notation, it looks like G and then a circle F. You say it like this, G composed with F, G composed. with f and what it means literally is this if you have two functions g and f then that itself g composed with f is a function i haven't defined what it is yet but it is a function and so you could say what the input is the input using function notation is x so you would read that as g composed with f of x, the, it's function notation, that parentheses x is function notation. And what it really means by, by definition, what that really means, DEF for definition, is g of f of x. In other words, you're making the input for g, the input into the function g, you're making that input f of x. The formula for f of x usually is what that turns out to be. So it's a function of a function. It's not as complicated as it sounds, though, if you remember a few simple rules. So let's look at an example. Okay, in this example, we're going to let f of x be negative 2x plus 1, and g of x is x squared plus 3. We want to find, okay, part A, f composed with g, looks like the word fog, right? But now I'm turning it around. Instead of g composed with f, it's f composed with g, of 2. Okay, so you would read this f composed, you got to get used to the language, f composed with g. So the assumption is that's going to be a function all by itself. And then the parentheses 2 is just function notation of 2. f composed with g of 2. So right away, what you want to replace the uh, the composite notation, the, the circle notation with, replace it with what it really means, f of g of 2. So this is the more familiar no, uh, function notation. f composed with g of 2 means, by definition, f of g of 2. So every time you see the fog notation, it looks like fog, right? Just replace it with f of g. Anytime you see the Goff notation, replace it with g of f, right? So now work it from the inside out. G of two is a number, right? So think about the function G. Here's the formula for the function G. What would, little scratch work here, what would uh, G of two be equal to? We know how to do that, right? Yeah, so you plug, that means, uh, th this notation means, hey, just wherever you see an X in the formula for G, in x squared plus 3, wherever you see that x, plug in a 2 instead. So it's, it becomes 2 squared plus 3, which is what, what, what you said, 7. 4 plus 3 is 7. So we're going to work this problem from the inside out. We're going to replace that g of 2 with, you know, with what it's equal to. It's, it's 7, right? So f of g of 2 is just f of 7, isn't it? And now you're to familiar territory, aren't you? What's f of 7? Well, I don't know. Find the formula for f and replace x with 7. That's what that notation means, right? So uh, what, negative 2 times 7 plus 1? Does everybody see what I did there? I replaced this x with the 7. So what is that going to be? Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's negative 14 plus 1, which is negative 13. So in other words, f composed with g of 2 is dun, da, 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 negative 13. If you work it from the inside out, you get to familiar territory function notation real quick. Now, most of the problems you'll see will probably not give you a specific input, like 2. Most of them, the input will be x, and you have to figure out what the formula is. So f composed with g of x right away what could you replace that notation with? By definition, by definition, f composed with g of x 
is what? f of g of x. So this, this is just function. When you write f of g of x, that's just function notation. And it's telling you that the input into f is, is now g of x, the, f the formula for g of x, if there is a formula, which in this class there almost always is. So work it from the inside out, you guys. So replace g of x with what it's equal to. What is g of x equal to? Okay, so f of g of x is f of x squared plus 3. So I'm using brackets here just to distinguish from the inner parentheses that were there around the x. But it's still just function notation. It Really, you do read this f bracket x squared plus 3 as f of x squared plus 3. So it really is just function notation at this point. And wherever you see an x in the formula for f then, you're going to replace that with that entire quantity x squared plus 3. So a good way to write it, to get used to it, is to replace the x in the formula for f with a set of parentheses. So instead of negative 2x plus 1, write it negative 2 times parentheses plus 1. And in that set of parentheses, plug in the new input, x squared plus 3. So how do I simplify that? What could I do? Uh, distribute. distribute the negative 2. So what does that give me? Negative, negative 2x squared minus 6 plus 1. What does that turn out to be? Negative 2x squared minus five. minus 5. There you go. So that's, so guys, what we're saying is this. The new function, when you compose these two functions, f and g, and, and you make the input x, just a generic x, it creates a new function. And the new function formula, f composed with g, the new function formula is negative 2x squared minus 5. That's all we're saying. So it's almost like this, well, this circle notation, it's called composite notation. Or compose. F composed with G. Um, it's almost like that's a new operator, isn't it? It's not plus, it's not minus, it's not multiplication, it's not division, it's something new, right? And we treat it like it's an operator. 